Ravens, Browns, it is always a bad-blooded matchup. They're back at it this weekend with division implications. We'll discuss that next on DJ Football. It is DJ Football. He is Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network. I'm Ryan Brown. The show presented by MyBookie.ag. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie.ag. Code next round to get a 50% sign-on match when you make your initial deposit up to $1,000. 50% match up to $1,000 there at MyBookie.ag. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag. Code next round. DJ, what is up? How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, we I just got back this last week. I was in New York for the yep. Chargers Jets, and it was uh, it was the 40s. Uh, it just felt it was the first it was the first football feel for me. I, I love those sweatshirt. Yeah, football weather, man. That's the good stuff. You do too many dome games out there in LA. You got those dome games. So, well, I mean, in LA, LA and, yeah. yeah, the weathering doesn't matter if you're in a dome or unless yeah. unless the TCU is playing Georgia in a national championship game, then the <laughs> dome rain, comes in handy. Rain blows in. <laughs> uh, let's talk about a divisional matchup this weekend as we uh, get to week 10 here. Uh, if I ask you, Cleveland is at Baltimore, it is a noon game on Fox, uh, noon uh, central time, one o'clock Eastern time. If I ask you, is Baltimore the best team in the AFC? Yes or no? Right now, uh, I would say yes. Um, I'd say yes. I mean, you look at it, Ryan. If they don't drop seven balls against Pittsburgh and you have a, an interception in the end zone, what, unnecessary interception in the end zone, they win yeah. that game. And we're talking about them as a one loss team. And we're not even, it's not even, we're not even asking the question. It's, yeah, absolutely right. they are. Uh, Lamar Jackson is, I mean, I, he's playing well. I mean, I, you hate to say best football of his career. I don't think that is the statement you can make right now. The guy has been a regular season MVP. But uh, nine touchdowns, just the three picks. He's done a great job of protecting the football and not uh, not throwing interceptions. Yeah, he has. And, you know, you're seeing it now with him, you know, using his legs uh, when those opportunities present themselves. When they get the run game going, when you've got Gus Edwards going and now Keaton Mitchell, you know, who's really a fun player to watch. If you watch him at all in college at East Carolina, he's a little under 5'8". He's 177 pounds. He ran in the four threes and you're seeing that burst uh, really show up on tape. So once you get a little bit of that run game going, now Lamar's playing off that, not only with play action the pass game, but using his legs some. They give you so many different things to worry about. And I think this is the best, you know, receiving core that he's had. I think Zay Flowers got a chance to be really, really special. So, um, you know, Odell Beckham got in the end zone. They, they've got a lot of different ways they can get after you with this offense. And the defense has been as good as any in football. Some of this is divisional. Like that division, um, them and Pittsburgh especially, it's always been a really, really physical division. Mm-hmm. So some of it is divisional, but a John Harbaugh team, a hallmark of that team is a physical football team. Like I, I, you know, you watch week in, week out, there don't appear to be many more teams that play more physical on a weekly basis than a Baltimore Ravens squad. Yeah. And, and I've said this in, uh, in our conversations previously, having worked there for four years and kind of knowing the DNA of that place. And even right. before coach Harbaugh got there, they, they love playing in these what I'll call them kind of bully games you know you saw it with the with the Cleveland Browns the first time they played they hammered them Cleveland's a very physical team especially a physical defense they're physical in the trenches on both sides Uh, they hammer them their first meeting the Detroit Lions we're talking about them as kind of San Francisco light and they're this physical team line of scrimmage team what happens Baltimore absolutely smashes them Yep. Um, so I, they, they just like playing in the, those types of games. So here comes Cleveland again and, and Cleveland's defense, you know, coming off last week, you look, they're, they're riding high. Jim Schwartz will have them ready to go. I think the offense, you know, with Deshaun Watson, another week here, you, you see them hopefully, you know, continue to take strides, but this game feels like to me, you know, Baltimore's offense, Cleveland's defense fair fight. You know, I, you know, I might lean a little bit towards Baltimore's offense at this point in time, but then you flip it over and I just don't see how Cleveland's offense is going to do much against Baltimore's defense. So you mean to tell me you thought Cleveland's defense played well against Arizona who gained 53 yards the entire game? Is that what you're telling me? Well, well, again, I would say, well, let's go, let's go 68% of Cleveland playing really well. And then let's go 32%. That's the math, right? How, how is that possible? Uh, of of that them you, just being atrocious on the other side. How is it possible that you gave 53 yards in an NFL game in 2020? I know Arizona 
looks like they are all in on trying to get the first pick to draft Caleb Williams. How yeah. in the world can you be that all in and just gain 53 yards? I know one way is well, to start Clay- Clayton Toon at quarterback. I get that. Yeah, name that Toon was a rough one. Uh, but the uh, look, if you can't block, yeah. I mean, I saw, I saw that, you know, everybody's that it's a different game, but I mean, watching the Jets offense and watching Zach Wilson and everybody's killing Zach Wilson. And I'm like, he, A, he's not playing good. I'll give you that. But that yeah. is a bad offensive line. And I don't care who you've got back there. It's going to be tough. And now, you saw what happens when you get a lopsided group like that. Now Baltimore's offensive line, that's not gonna it's not gonna look anything like what we saw last week when they're matching yeah. with theirs. I mean, you mentioned the Jets. I was watching that game Monday night and it was over. I mean, it's 14 to nothing. The game the is punt absolutely- returned once once these yep. once the punt return and then they get the second touchdown. I literally said on the broadcast, if you do not give them a short field, you can't lose. Like just nope. punt the ball. If every drive from here on out ends in a punt, you'll win the game. Yep. Yeah, it would not have been fun to watch, but you're absolutely right. But I'm watching that game, yeah. and like Aaron, you know, there are people wanting Aaron Rodgers to come back. I'm like, again, it's not that, a magic elixir. No yeah, behind chance. that offensive line, I no don't think chance. so. No, yeah, no. I came to the same conclusion when I left that stadium. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this whole like this is the magic pill that Aaron Rodgers is going to solve the problems here. I don't know that I'm buying that. No. We'll talk more about uh, Browns-Ravens divisional matchup in just one second, but a reminder, the show, DJ Football, presented by MyBookie.ag. You can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie.ag. Code next round when you sign on. And with code next round, you make that initial deposit. They give you a 50% sign-on match, and uh, that is up to $1,000. You can bet that anytime, right away. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere. MyBookie.ag. The great thing is you only win once with it. It is yours and yours forever. Not one you got to win like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. When once, it is yours and yours forever at mybookie.ag. Also, manscaped.com has many great, uh, great products, including the Handyman. Easy to travel with. It is compact. It is a great razor. The Handyman at manscaped.com. Also, the Beard Hedger, the lawnmower, which takes care of the uh, unmentionables and the entire body. And uh, also that uh, Weed Whacker, which takes care of the nose hair and the ear hair. Great boxer shorts, great male body products. And we're going to save you 20% off your initial order at manscaped.com. Code DJF20, whether it's the handyman or anything they've got, code DJF20 at manscaped.com. Save 20% off your first order. Normally, you would look at Cleveland and say five and four. Boy, if they didn't have to start P.J. Walker, could have started Deshaun <laughs> Watson. They'd be a lot better than that. But they 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 are in a really fortunate position in having to have started their backup as much as they have, but still be in this divisional race. Yeah, I just, man, to me, it's, the quarterback situation is one thing. Nick Chubb changed that offense. Like, oh, there's no doubt. You have you have Nick Chubb healthy. It does not matter uh, who's back there. So that would have that would have solved a lot of their problems. They have not been able to replace him. So that to me is the the bigger storyline. I know everybody's going to get drawn to the quarterback situation, and obviously with the money uh, that Watson is making and missing some time, and when he's been out there, it's it's been pretty average. But uh, that to me was the big blow for them, and they're still trying to figure it out. They're still trying to figure out what they are offensively. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. You and I did this exercise a few weeks ago in DJ Football when we ranked the quarterbacks in this division, and you're at least a number three before you even start thinking about Deshaun Watson. And the way Kenny Pickett has played at times this year, he's number four of the starters in this yeah. division. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's pretty interesting. To me, it's it's one and two, and then it is a cliff yeah, it's a gap. before you get There's to no three doubt. and four. And that's yeah. why when you're trying to sort out this division, how is this going to shake out? You know, they all got to play each other. They're going to beat each other up, but it's hard – it's hard to look at at, uh, at Joe Burrow and then look at Lamar Jackson and say that they're not going to be the two left standing at the very end. Yeah, huge game. And the NFC North, you've got – or excuse me, the AFC North, you've got Baltimore at 7-2. Everybody else in that division is at 5-3. and three. And to DJ's point, Cincinnati looking healthy, yep. looking a little bit more like the Super Bowl Cincinnati team. Kenny Pickett playing a little bit better at times for Pittsburgh. This is a huge game for the Cleveland Browns. You don't want to fall behind in this division. It is going to be so tough to catch up. Yeah, no, and they're going to need their defense to get turnovers. Um, We talked about the Ravens losing that game. You can almost use the the term blowing the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're going to need a similar similar gift uh, that the Ravens gave to the Steelers. The Browns are going to need to turn them to turn the ball over. If they don't, if the Ravens play a clean game, Ryan, they're they're going to win this one. That is an early game on Fox Sunday. Cleveland and Baltimore in the AFC North. DJ Football presented by MyBookie.ag. Code next round when you sign on to MyBookie.ag. Get that sign-on matchup uh, 50% up to $1,000. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie.ag. Also, Manscaped.com. 
the handyman, and much, much more at manscaped.com. Code DJF20. Code DJF20 for 20% off your initial order at manscaped.com. He is Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network, and this is DJ Football.